I am the symbol and the result of my grandmother's faith in America, and America deserved, in that case, her faith. I owe it to her to be a patriot. But you see, patriotism for black Americans is tricky. It's difficult to love a country that doesn't always love you back. Think of the black men who fought for freedom in the world wars, but were denied that very freedom when they come home. Those examples of some lynched in their military uniforms. Think of the black laborers who built great public universities whose doors were closed to them, or the black voters who elected great public leaders whose policies, like the GI Bill, were closed to them. For a lot of our history, American democracy itself has been closed to black people. For black people, America has not always kept up its end of the bargain. Lots of grandmothers like mine had grandsons or daughters who never got their chance and still don't. Americans often seem nonplussed that somebody can love America and simultaneously acknowledge, let alone work to fix, what's broken. I don't know when patriotism got reduced to lapel pins and flyovers and arguments about whether foot, pro football players should take a knee. True patriotism, it seems to me, is about national aspiration. America is the only nation in human history organized differently than other kinds of countries, not by geography or religion or race or language, or even a common culture, but instead, instead around a handful of civic ideals. And we have defined those ideals over time and through struggle as equality, opportunity, and fair play, because these are what make freedom itself possible. That's the America my grandmother believed in, that black men and women had enough faith in to die for in foreign wars and to march for in the streets at home. That's the America that has made us a magnet for talent and ambition from all over the world. That's the America that, it, that makes me and countless other men and women of every race and background a patriot. 